Jackson knew it for for years. Lunchables were a staple in the school cafeteria. Kids and even some parents enjoy digging in, but new studies are finding the colorful packages might not be a safe option for your kids. News 9's Sabrina Lee is live and here to explain. Well, Adam, a new study found that Lunchables may have more in them than just what's listed on the back in the nutritional information. In fact, now lawsuits are being filed for what's being found. A new study published by Consumer Reports pitted Lunchables, Good and Gather, Greenfield Natural Meat, Oscar Mayer, and Armor Lunchmakers against each other. The reason? They were looking for lead in addition to other heavy metals, chemicals, and sodium content. All of those are increasingly linked to health concerns in kids and adults. And researchers say the findings were concerning. Lead levels were measured based off of California's maximum allowable dosage, while sodium was compared to U.S. dietary guidelines. Launchable kits were found to have between 69 and 74 percent of maximum recommended lead levels and between 34 and 49 percent of recommended sodium levels. Good and Gather from Target was better, but had lead levels ranging between 30 and 57 percent and 34 percent sodium levels. But processing can also induce, introduce heavy metals and chemicals found in plastic. It's also important to note that none of the kits went over the recommended maximum exposure level, but the risks of heavy metals are cumulative and come from exposure over time. Experts say the less you consume, the better. Adam, back to you. Thank you.